Tonight on the Varsity Media Sports Network, we've got a Section 5 lacrosse matchup between two schools having very successful seasons as McQuaid hosts Penn Yen. Welcome everybody to our live stream broadcast. I'm Ray Sullivan and we're going to have a little bit of a delay in the start of the game tonight. Uh, Penn Yen ran into a little uh, traffic problem getting to the uh, stadium here at McQuaid Jesuit High School. And so we're about six minutes away from game time right now. We're going to... Uh, Take a break here and wait till we get a little bit closer to game time. Just wanted to let you know that the game is being delayed just by a few minutes, though, and we will be ready to go here in just about six minutes. So stay with us, grab something to drink, grab something to eat, and come on back, and we're going to have some great high school lacrosse for you right here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Tonight on the Varsity Media Sports Network, a Section 5 lacrosse matchup between two schools having very, very good seasons as McQuaid hosts Penn Yan. Welcome everybody to our live stream broadcast. I'm Ray Sullivan alongside Joel Belthazer. And Joel, the McQuaid Knights are off to an impressive 8-2 and two start and they're riding a three-game winning streak. Yeah, they're having another great year. They uh, they started off last season 10-2 and two, and here they are this year at 8-2, and two, the exact same record they were when they faced Penn Yan last year. Uh, this McQuaid team uh, graduated 18 seniors from last year's Class B semifinals team, and they have only seven seniors on this year's squad, and they are led by senior Ryan McEvely, who's got 33 goals and nine assists on the season. 
And just the last time out, just a few days ago, they traveled to Buffalo and faced Nichols, and they won a thriller there, seven to six in overtime. So they're riding that uh, that three game winning streak, and uh, looking forward to a great game here. Yeah, Coach Terry Cochran's got his guys going in the right direction, absolutely. And in Penyan, this year's Mustangs are carrying on that great lacrosse tradition. They're eight and two as well, and have their eyes set on winning the school's twenty fourth sectional championship. Yeah, you think about Penyan, and you think of a couple of things. You got Cuca Lake, you got wineries, and you have lacrosse. This Penyan program has been strong for such a long time. Eight straight sectional championships and twenty in the last twenty one years. Five times they've been in the state championship game, and they won it all in two thousand one. And get this number, they've reached the state semifinals all but three years since 1998. It's pretty incredible. They are led by 2018 All-Greater Rochester player Connor Finger, who's got 23 goals and 12 assists on the season. And the mainstay is the head coach, Brian Hobart, since 2004. He's amassed a 248-84 and record. Yeah, and Joel, uh, this will be the 10th meeting overall between these two schools. And Penyan has a pretty decided advantage there, 7-2 to two right now in this series. But last season, McQuaid was able to pull out a thrilling win in overtime. And uh, we, uh, we've got some highlights of that game for you. Yeah, we're taking a look right now at this game. Uh, Penyan fans, avert your eyes. You don't want to remember this one. <laughs> but it, was, it really was a great game. It was a close game, a low-scoring game. Penyan actually rallied late in the fourth Man, to send the game into nine, overtime. And then, as we'll see here in just a second, Ryan McEvely scored the game winner in overtime, and the game was final, 5-4 McQuaid. All right, we'll be back with the starting lineups in just a minute. You're watching Section 5 Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Welcome back to our live stream broadcast of Section 5 Lacrosse. Tonight, Penn Yen takes on McQuaid. And right now, we're going to take a quick look at the starting lineups. And we will start with the Mustangs of Penn Yen. Starting at attack, number four, Devin Gerhardt. Number 28, Clay Kenyon. And number 88, Aiden Mowry. At midfield, it's number five, Makai Mahan. Number eight, Connor Finger. And number 94, Chase Blumbergs. On defense for the Mustangs, it's number 10, Mason Coover. Number 15, Jack Peterson. And number 20, Brian Duran. And in goal for Penyan, number 23, the junior, Jeff Kenyon. And starting for McQuaid tonight at attack, number 21, John Marangola. Number 23, Nick Opit. Number 35, Max Ettinghausen. In mid at midfield, it's number six, Alex Kimlowski. Number 25, Pauly Chiarello. And number 42, Ryan McGevley. In at defense, number 12, Nick Young. Number 22, Gavin Carey. And number two, Jared Campbell. And in goal for the Knights, number 15, Connor Winters. As the players meet at midfield right now, Joel, and get ready to get things started here. I got to believe we're going to expect a pretty tight game here off the start. The Mustangs, as we had mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, got here a little bit late tonight. So it'll be interesting uh, to see how they're able to start this game and if they're, you know, ready to go and, uh, when they didn't have maybe their normal warm-up uh, situation. Yeah, maybe a few minutes less than they're, they're used to having to get ready for the game. But uh, 
This is this is a young group, but it's actually a pretty experienced group, so I'm sure they'll be ready to go. All right, as we get ready for the face-off, right now to start the game, it's going to be Tim Oberlies for Penyan, and the refs are getting ready to start things here as we get ready for some high school lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Refs inspecting, making sure everything's right down there at the X. And getting ready to blow that whistle. We wait with anticipation here. Here we go. Battle at the X and loose ball right now. Still a loose ball. And McQuaid comes up with it. Nice job on the ground ball there. So McQuaid will get, well, maybe not. Looks like maybe a turnover. Battle for the ball down there deep behind the Mustang goal. And again, McQuaid comes away with it. And here come the Knights. Going to get set up in their offense. Yeah, really fortunate to keep the keep possession there after the uh, Aaron pass, able to track it down. And as you mentioned, get their offensive guys on and uh, set, the, set their offense. Absolutely. Okay, so the Knights swinging the ball down deep behind their own net. Working it around the perimeter right now. Pauly... Chiarello up top to Ryan McCavley. McCavley bounces one, and that's going to get away, and that is going to be a turnover. So a little sloppy off the bat for the Knights. Yeah, a couple sloppy passes and, uh, you know, look some maybe some pregame jitters. So now Penyan will try to get the clear. McQuaid going to pressure. And they strip the ball. And McQuaid looked like they got possession, but no, the ref is going to say it's out of bounds. And Penyan is going to keep the ball here. Still have to clear. He has a good play on defense. Just looked like his foot stepped on the line. Counter finger spinning to get it across the midline. And now Penyan will set up for the first time on offense. Beautiful, sunny evening here in Brighton. Just outside of Rochester, New York. We finally brought you some nice weather for a live stream. Only took us about three weeks. That's right. And the Mustangs will set up here. Makai Mahan moving around up top. Now he gets it down low. Devin Gerhardt working it back out front. Some cool numbers out here you don't see very often. That's number 94, Chase Bloom, uh, Blumberg's. You don't see 94 or 88, and you're going to see them both here uh, tonight. You don't see them very often. you got a 54 out there on, <laughs> on the roster, too. You're right. you got some offensive linemen and some That's tight ends. Right. Here comes Finger again, working and getting the shot, and he scores. Just pulled his way down the right side, set his feet, and let one rip, and he gets the Mustangs on the board first. one nothing. Penyan. Yeah, we'll take another look at that. Just a great shot, a great individual effort by finger here to get by his man and just kind of body him up and then get the shot down low. So a great start for Penyan. And Connor Finger will be right back there at the X. He will take the face off for Penyan. Refs getting the ball set. And there's the whistle. Penyan goal scored by number eight, Connor Finger. Ball on the ground. And it's going to be Penyan scooping it up. Oh, and there's another bad pass, and it's going to be a turnover. And here, come McQu here comes McQuaid. They scooped up that ground ball. Nice job by Mike Massinio. And now McQuaid will set up as they sub in their offensive players. 9.20 left to go here in the first quarter. If you're just joining us, we got a little late start. But a beautiful night for lacrosse. It's 1-0 right now, Penyan over McQuaid, but the Knights have the ball, and they are getting their offense ready to go here. Alice Kimlowski working, passes it back to McKevley. McKevley loses the ball, scoops it up quickly, though, and works it over to Paul Chiarello. Now they're going to work the ball down behind the net again. Out front, loose ball again. Quaid having some trouble right now. Controlling that ball. 
Still on the ground. Yeah, a lot of loose balls when they're on offense so far. Yep. But they regain control, and they'll look to maybe slow things down a little bit here and get their offense set up and see what kind of opportunity they can create. Another errant pass and another ball on the ground. Battle for this one, and this time Pen Yan's going to come away with it. We got a whistle, and the refs are going to award the ball to Pen Yan. And the Mustangs will try and clear right now. Here comes Counter Finger. As Pen Yan gets the ball into their offensive zone, and they get ready to get set up. Yeah, the Mustangs playing really good defense so far. It's, uh, we talked about a lot of those drop balls, but a lot of that's pressure on defense, too. Absolutely. Penyan working the perimeter right now. A great check. Nice strip right there. And here come the Knights back on offense. Angus Chase got the ball deep into Penyan territory, and then he will come off the field and let his offensive teammates come on. Quaid. Circling the ball out front now. Alex Klonowski up top. Looking for an opportunity. He's going to break down the left alley. Got it in his left hand there. He spins out and gets it back up top to Paul Chiarello. And now Ryan McKevley working it back to Chiarello. Chiarello behind the net now. Nick Opit working hard back there. As the Knights swinging around back up top now, and they'll start over again. Klamowski again down the right side. Good defense by Pen Yan, though, pushes him wide. McQuaid having trouble penetrating this Pen Yan D, Joel. Yeah, it's a very stingy defense. They don't give up a lot of goals, and uh, same, same was the case in this game last year, but don't look for a high-scoring affair today uh, between these two schools. There's McKevley. Tries to get the shot off and never got through. That shot's blocked. And now ball on the ground again, and Pen Yan's going to come away with it. And they will be able to clear the ball here and get back on offense. 5.55 left to go here in the first quarter. Penyan up 1-0 on McQuaid, and they have the ball. Yeah, not, they haven't had a whole lot of opportunities on offense. It's just their defense is just shutting down McQuaid so far. Doing a great job at that end of the field. Ball comes out to Makai Mahan. Mahan working back to his left now. Guarded closely there. Nice little move to his right. Tried to get it over to Connor Finger, but Finger couldn't handle that pass. Finger goes down on the ground, and here come the Knights. Another steal by the Knights. And there's another steal. Ball on the ground again. Still on the ground. And we've got a whistle now. Yeah, we're going to have a loose ball push. Yep. But good defense on both sides there by, uh, by both teams, causing those turnovers. So McQuaid is going to keep possession of the ball here. And see if they can get set up for a look at a possible tying goal. Penyan up one to nothing as we dip down below the five minute mark in the first quarter here. The Knights moving the ball around the perimeter, trying to break this tough Penyan defense. It's another nice job right there. Oh, just a fantastic job. Jack Peterson playing some defense there. Wow. My God. My goodness. You see why that's the senior Jack Peterson, and you can see why he's headed to play at Albany next year, D1 player. Yeah, one of two players on this Penyan team going to Albany, and uh, great great player. We're seeing a lot of good defense from him so far. So Penyan setting up now. Up one nothing over McQuaid, first quarter. Devin Gerhardt setting up behind the net. Works it out to the right side and back out up top to, t to Chase Blumbergs. He swings it around to Carter Earl. Carter is just a eighth grader on this varsity team. Well, I got the youngster out there. 
Here come the Mustangs. There's that tight end, number 88, <laughs> Aiden Mowry. Devin Gerhardt now spinning, and he's going to send it back to Connor. Fin I'm sorry, to uh, Aiden Mowry. Now he's got some speed. He's working around to his left, but good defense by McQuaid, and he's got to bring the ball back out. Earl now, the 8th grader, looking to get shot off, and he wasn't able to do it. Pen Yen being patient. And this time, it's McQuaid playing some really nice defense, Joel. Yeah, McQuaid's just uh, answering the challenge on defense themselves, just not giving Pen Yen any opportunity, shutting down those lanes, and, and they're really pressuring, you know, pushing the pressure out far. There's a shot by Connor Finger, and I believe that went wide. Connor's got 23 goals on the season. He was looking for number 24 right there, but he bounced it just wide of the net. Yeah, he was this team's second leading scorer last year too. Um, so he's he's been playing since uh, eighth grade, I believe. And we do have a flag down. Yep, looks like it is going to be a penalty on McQuaid, I believe. So the Knights are going to be a man down here. And Pen Yan is going to have an opportunity here to stretch their lead. They are, they are up 1-0 right now with 2.44 left to go in the first quarter as they begin the man-up advantage. Big opportunity. First one of the day for either team being man up. Let's see how the Mustangs respond with this opportunity. We're going to round the perimeter right now. Fingers up top. Now down low. Chase Blumbergs. There's Finger. Oh, there's an opportunity for him. He lets one rip. And a nice save by Connor Winters right there. Getting his stick on that ball. Great job by the sophomore. And McQuaid is going to come away with it with an opportunity to clear here and kill off the rest of this penalty. Yeah, big save there. I'm not sure... Uh... You know, if you're the McQuaid defense, you want to give Connor Finger all that room, but uh, just a great save. And uh, coaches really talk pretty highly of this uh, of his goalie, that's for sure. Yeah, you're right about giving Connor Finger that kind of room. Nobody came to him, and all of a sudden, I think he was a little surprised to yeah, realize I think that so. he was all alone in the middle. So the Knights will set up looking for the tying goal here. Down one nothing as we count down under a minute 30 left to play in the first quarter. McQuaid. Getting their offense set up. Alex Kamlowski spinning out. He'll get it back out to Paul Chiarello. There's a shot. Never got through again. And Chiarello comes away with a loose ball. Nice job on the ground ball there. Eddinghausen with a turnover. He's the leading scorer on this. I'm sorry, the second leading scorer on this McQuaid team. But... Once again, McQuaid is not able to do much on the offensive end, and the Mustangs turn him over, and just like that, Penyan hands it back to McQuaid. Yeah, tough break there. Great play on defense, getting that loose ball and uh, the nice clear. It's just, uh, it's just hard when you got that long pole trying to make a good, accurate pass with uh, traffic. These guys might not be used to playing in such nice weather, Joel. We're seeing a lot of unforced errors here. They, it, it might be just too nice for them out they, here. They don't know what to do without the rain falling. Right. They're the whipping wind at about 20 degree below ch uh, wind chill bracing against them. That's right. Yeah, an absolutely gorgeous day. It's still not quite warm yet, but uh, I think everybody here will take it. We will take it. So we count down under 20 seconds here to go in the first quarter. McQuaid with an opportunity here as we close out the first quarter to possibly get a look at a tying goal. They're working the ball behind the net right now. Still working. Down three, two, one. And that is going to do it for the first quarter. They are going to come away without getting a shot on goal for one final opportunity. And that's got to be a little disappointing, I would think, for Coach Terry Corcoran. But as we finish up the first quarter here with Penyan on top, one to nothing, we will take a break right now. We'll be right back on the Varsity Media Sports Network.
Welcome back to our coverage of Section 5 Lacrosse here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. And we want to thank our sponsor tonight, Sweet Lax Lacrosse. And they have the future Phenoms College Combine coming up on July 23rd and 24th at St. George's School in Newport, Rhode Island this year. Participants will work closely with college coaches from leading Division 1, 2, and 3 schools and receive firsthand feedback on what coaches are looking for during the recruiting process. To find out more, visit ml8events.com as we get ready to start the second quarter here between McQuaid and Penn Yan. Penn Yan taking a 1-0 lead through the first quarter. And we started at the X as the refs get ready to blow the whistle and get us off to the start of the second quarter. And here we go. Ball on the ground, and McQuaid is going to scoop that up. And they will look to clear their zone now. Penyan with the pressure on the right side. But McQuaid able to clear. Nice job by Mike Messinio there. A little swim move and get it across half field. And now the Knights will set up their offense. Some first quarter thoughts. I would certainly say that both defenses are really standing out uh, this Penyan defense we've been talking a lot about them a lot but as you mentioned the uh, McQuaid defense really buckled down after that first goal too we don't have a uh, unfortunately have a, a, a shots on goal statistician but I can't imagine either team had more than two shots on goal I'm trying to remember two for either team off the top of my head and I think you're right so McQuaid setting up now looking for an opportunity to tie this game up working from behind the net that's Max Ettenhausen. Fakes a pass out, switches back to his left, and lets one go. Might have been a bit wide there, but I think Jeff Kenyon might have got a piece of that in goal for Penn Yan. McQuaid will keep possession. And Nick Opit is going to set up behind the net. Brings it around to the right side, and now spins back to his right. Sends it over to Ryan McKevley. Now it's back up top. Everybody pushing in down low for the Knights right now. I think if you're McQuaid, I don't think you really want to force shots. I think you just kind of want to... Oh, and there's one right there. Let them come to you like that. Absolutely. But Jeff Kenyon was there for the save. That was a nice move from behind the net by Nick Opit and got a nice shot off, but... Uh, just went low, and Jeff Kenyon was there for the stop. Yeah, I got to give kudos to the goalie if you're an offensive player there. Got a great opportunity, great look, just a better save. And a whistle now. Looks like we're going to have a timeout by Penn Yan. So with 10.05 left timeout. to go oh, in the second Penn quarter, Penn Yan oh, leading one to nothing. We'll take this opportunity to take a quick break, and we'll be right back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Fans, why settle for watching games after they've been played? Varsity Media brings the action to you live. Contact us today to learn more about streaming your events live. 516-403-2050 or visit us online at varsitymedia.net. We highlight your life. Welcome back to Varsity Media's coverage of section five lacrosse tonight we are at mcquade jesuit high school in brighton new york as the mcquade knights host the Penn Yan mustangs and it has been a defensive battle so far joel 10 minutes left to go in the second quarter and Penn Yan is up one to nothing i don't think anybody really expected a high scoring game it, it usually isn't um, especially with this Penn Yan team and certainly when these two teams play um, so i think the defenses are really shining so far we'll just See which team can uh, take more advantage on offense. Coming off of a timeout here by Penn Yan. And Coach Brian Hobart, once his Mustangs got control of the ball, he decided to call a timeout and maybe uh, see if they can come up with something a little bit more effective on offense right now. Yeah, neither team really with too many good looks on offense, so he's probably just trying to take advantage and uh, set up a good play. So as we get ready to go here, Penn Yan with possession. And the ref will... Blow his whistle, and we'll get back at it here. Mustangs setting up in their offensive zone. Back out up top. That's Mackay Mahan now. Mackay Mahan 
Working down the right side. Looking for a shot. He gets one off. Bounces one. And it goes wide. But right into the stick of his teammate. And then it's taken away. A nice job there by Connor Winters to steal that ball back, Joel, and give his give his teammates an opportunity to clear, and they're going to do just that. Yeah, I think he oh. just saved a goal right there, getting his stick out. But uh, just like, as we mentioned that, they turn it over, and then back to McQuaid. And here we go. So the Knights will, will regain possession here in their offensive zone, and they're going to slow it down a bit here and get their offensive players on. And once again, have an opportunity to possibly tie this game up. They trail one to nothing with about nine minutes left to go in the second quarter here. That's Eddinghausen from behind the net. Out front to McKevley. Now up top. They swing it around to the right side. Nice move inside and Great a beautiful save. save by Jeff Kenyon, the junior for Penn Yan. McQuaid keeps possession of the ball. Great job getting the loose ball there. Pops loose again. And they are going to hang on to it. Yeah, big time save there by Kenyon, keeping that one out of the net. Nick Opit in the right spot in the right at the right time. There's another shot on net. Not quite on net, actually. Goes a little bit wide. And McQuaid will keep the ball. All of a sudden, McQuaid coming up with a little bit more offense here, Joel. Yeah, if you're McQuaid, you got to be pretty happy with his latest offensive series, getting some better looks on goal. And uh, if you're a Knights fan, you just hope they start putting some in. Here come the Knights. They're going to start up top of the ball. Alex Kamowski swinging around. McEvely with the ball, and he's dangerous. He's got 33 goals on the season. He gets, it, he gets it back to Klamowski. Sorry, Joel. He made the switch uh, from, from attack last year to, uh, to the midfield line. And you mentioned he's kind of he's he's kind of the focal point for this offense. Uh, you know him and Eddinghausen, that's for sure. Right now from behind the net. Oh, a nice hit behind the net, and that forces the turnover. And Penyan will have an opportunity to clear here. More nice defense. Yeah, this is the first time us getting a chance to see Penyan in person, and uh, their defense is just really fun to watch. Well, except for right there, they turned it over. Quick shot down low. And again, a nice check there. McQuaid is going to keep possession of the ball after another Penyan turnover. Good job of uh, getting back, though, and, and forcing that Aaron shot. I didn't see the number, but uh, it was a good way to, to eliminate a good scoring chance for McQuaid. Absolutely. Chiarello swings it around behind the net now. Open. Working around. There's a flag now. Looks like we're going to have a penalty on Pen Yan coming up. As McQuaid gets a quick shot off there, Klimowski uh, bounces one wide, and now the Knights are going to have the man-up opportunity. Yeah, and this is going to be probably their best chance of the game so far to, uh, to go man-up. I think it might have been a slash. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll wait to see the call. I'll hit, hit, to, the to, hit to the helmet. Yep, that was the call. Somebody got to stick up high on somebody. And so McQuaid will start their man-up advantage here. 6.50 left to go in the in the second quarter with Penyan up 1-0. And, and McQuaid with an opportunity to get this game back to even. Swinging it around the perimeter right now. Taking their time. Don't seem to be in any hurry. Now they make a shift. That's Chiarello down low to the left-hand side, around behind the net, swinging around to the right. Up top to McKevley. McKevley down low. Great little pass. Some nice passing in there. And there's a goal. Great, great passing by McQuaid. And uh, Alex Klamowski comes up with the goal to tie it up for the Knights. With 6-12 left to play in the second quarter. And I was just about to think to myself that they made one pass too many. I thought they were being a little too unselfish, but as we see there, the finish by Klamowski, and the, uh, that was the feed from Chiarello, and that was nicely done. Boy, some quick, sharp, short passing inside. That's not easy to do. No, it's not, especially with all those bodies down there in traffic. And uh, great answer from McQuaid to tie this thing up. 
All right, back to the X now. Connor Finger and Jack Miller are going to do battle. We'll see who can win this faceoff. As we are all tied up at one. Four by number six, Alex. Ball on the ground. And McQuaid. Oh, looked like they had it. Still on the ground. And the Knights do come away with it now, and they will clear the ball. Breaking into their offensive zone. Getting their offensive players on the field. And they will set up for an opportunity to take a lead here. A little momentum swing in McQuaid's favor. They've had the ball for uh, quite a bit of time in their offensive zone, so let's see what they can do here now that they've just tied this one up. Klamowski back out on the field. He's up top with Chiarello, the two that just hooked up for that last goal. We're going to get another timeout here, and this time it's going to be McQuaid. Going to slow things down a little bit, and we will take a break as well. We'll be right back with more action on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Sponsoring a live stream broadcast? Varsity Media Streams offer tremendous visibility for your business. Contact us at 516-403-2050 for rates and packages. Welcome back to Varsity Media Sports Network's coverage of high school lacrosse here in Section 5 on just a beautiful night. A little chilly, but a beautiful clear night in Brighton, New York, as McQuaid is hosting Penn Yan. And Joel, this game last year between these two went down to overtime. McQuaid pulled it out in overtime, and it's uh, already starting to feel like we may be headed that way tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if at the end of regulation we're all tied up, and uh, at this pace it might be like three to three. Um, you know, both these defenses really shining so far, um, and that's kind of the way it's been all season. You know, for both teams to some extent, mostly for Penyan, they've they've had some uh, some tight battle. They just had a another tight battle with Canadagua not too long ago that uh, they lost in overtime, but um, they're they're just a strong defensive team, and you know this is nothing new for them. McQuaid. Setting up with the ball in their offensive zone now. As we said, tied up 1-1. There's a little turnover, almost a turnover. But John uh, Marangola was there to scoop up his own drop ball. And McQuaid hangs on to it. Marangola again down on the left-hand side. He gets it back out up top. And he will swing it back. Out to Ryan McKevley. McKevley and Alex Klamowski up top. The Knights being patient with the ball, working it up top. Certainly a much better job this second quarter for the Knights offense. They seem to they look a lot more comfortable out there, that's for sure. Not so many certainly not as sloppy with right. the ball. Yeah, absolutely. Nick Opit now looking for an opportunity. Swings it into his left hand there, but he gets spun back around. There's McKevley. Oh, and he actually might have lost the ball. He was, he was getting ready to take that shot. It came loose, but the Knights are able to scoop up that loose ball and keep possession. Been coming up a lot more of those uh, ground balls the second quarter too, which explains more time on offense. McKevley looked like he was going to have a really good look. And an opportunity there, but the ball just came loose in his stick as he was in the middle of his shot. Yeah, I'm not sure he's had a shot on goal yet today, so I think they're going to look to get him going a little bit. Once again, he's got the ball up top. Spinning back to his left. Got it in his left hand now. He takes the shot. And that is a save. Oh, loose ball in the crease there. They come away with it again, and now we've got a whistle. 
Yeah, it was the loose ball push, but uh, that was some frantic action there in front of the goal. A great save to start things off, and then they had the push that will keep it McQuaid ball. Yeah, Jeff Kenyon did a great job, and whoever took that uh, push uh, in the uh, zone there, that was a good. That was a good job to take yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. That was a goal saver. Right it there. was a goal saver. Absolutely. So McQuaid will retain possession. They keep the ball as we click down below. Three minutes left to go in the first half here. All tied up at one. Working behind the net. And now out to the right side. And now back up top. The Cavaliers setting a pick. And he gets the ball back. He's been looking to shoot. Working down that right side. And he gets spun away. They get it back out to Chiarella. Now down to Klamowski. And he works his way through. And what a shot! Looked like he was all wrapped up down low, and somehow he goes low to high and rips one into the top corner. A great goal by Alex Klamowski, and it's two to one, McQuaid. I'm not sure how he got that one off. Is we take a we got to take a look. Take a look at the replay there. That that was uh, kept his balance there and just flung it up. And what a play! Wow, what a fantastic looking goal. Great individual effort by Alex Klamowski, and he gives his McQuaid team a 2-1 to lead with 2.35 left to go now in the first half. Just a fantastic effort there. Yeah, one of the best goals I've seen really all season. That was uh, that was impressive. McQuaid Jesuit goal, score by number six, Alex Klamowski. And here come the Knights again. You, you really do feel it, Joel. They're starting to take a little bit of uh, momentum here. And we're going to get another timeout. I'm not really sure Penyan's had possession much in this second quarter. It seems like it's been a while. Yeah, Terry Corcoran decided to take uh, another timeout here as his team gained possession off the faceoff. So with 2.22 left to play here, we'll take a break. We'll be right back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Our coverage on the Varsity Media Sports Network of Section 5 Lacrosse tonight. McQuaid hosting Penn Yan. And right now with 2.22 left to play, the McQuaid Knights hold a 2-1 to one advantage. And they have the ball in their offensive zone. And they're getting ready to see if they can stretch that lead. And here we go. The Knights have taken control of this game over the last few minutes, Joel. They, uh, they have... Uh, had the possession for most of this quarter, I would say. Yeah, I mean it's it's not reflecting so much on the scoreboard, but if the you know the goal was to keep the ball out of Penyan's hands, they've done a fantastic job of that in the second. Knights with the ball behind the net now. John Marangola out front, quick little pass, and there's a goal. Great pass by John Marangola as the Knights take a three to one lead with just under two minutes left to play here in the first half. Take another look at that goal. Just a nice job by Marangola in finding the wide open man in front of the goal and an easy finish for Nicholas Opit. Nick Opit with the goal to give the Knights a 3-1 to one lead. A minute 47 left to go here in the first half. And Pen Yen needs to win a faceoff here. Yeah, McQuaid's done a great job winning these faceoffs, and that's just led to them controlling the clock here for this entire second. McQuaid, Jesuit's third goal, score by number 23, Nick Open. And a battle off of the X there. And the McQuaid is going to have possession. John Marangola. Really should m mention that both of these teams are very young. We mentioned the experience on both sides, but they're still. You know, very young teams on both sides. Quaid getting the ball out top now. 
looking for another shot. Here's McEvely. Oh, and he fires one just wide. Yeah, that was his best opportunity so far. You don't see him miss from that close too often, but uh, good break there for Penyan. And they get the ball. Yep, ball will go to Penyan. Minute 20 left to go in the first half here. Penyan with the clearing opportunity. See what kind of pressure McQuaid wants to put on here. Mustang swing it back out, and now ball on the ground, but Finger is there to scoop that up. Quick shot out front, and there's a goal. What a play. Devin Gerhardt taking a nice pass from Connor Finger, and he bounces it home to cut the McQuaid lead to 3-2 to two with just under a minute to go. Just a great play by Finger to get – free and then the tight pad tight window that he gets that one in for but a nice finish by Devin Gerhardt to bring this game to a one goal difference fantastic job by both players there I'm always amazed at the guys who can take those those one time passes and, and quickly get that ball out of their out of, off of their stick and into the net yeah that's definitely a skill that not many have but it was a great job by Gerhardt so 53 seconds left to go here. 3-2 to two, McQuaid now over Penyan. Yeah, and four. this time Finger seven comes away with it. Hard. He's going to fight off a couple of defenders, and we're going to get another timeout. So Penyan will have an opportunity to tie things up here as we get, come down to the end of the first half. 43, 47 seconds left to go, and we'll be right back on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Welcome back, everybody. We've got 47 seconds left to play here between Penyan and McQuaid. Penyan with the ball down three to two, with one opportunity, one more opportunity in the first half here to see if they can get the tying goal. They're working it around behind their net. Out front now to Finger. Connor Finger brings it back out up top, taking their time. Down below 30 seconds left to play here now. Makai Mahan with the ball, working into the middle of the field, trying to get a shot. He gives it up to Finger. 15 seconds left to go. Now here comes Finger. He gets pushed around behind the net, spins back, and then spins to his right again. Just trying to get an opportunity for a shot. we got five seconds left to go here. There's a quick shot, and that's going to go wide. And one second left to go here. It is going to be... McQuaid ball, and that is going to do it for the first half. So a defensive first half, Joel. A great job by both teams on defense, and just what we expected. This is a close one with McQuaid up 3-2 to two at half. Yeah, a close game, a low-scoring game, good defensive battle. This is you know, pretty much what we expected, and uh, just a great game played so far by both teams. It's really probably going to come down to which team has more good chances on offense because – they're few and far between so far. And maybe which team has the ball last yeah. as we come down to it. So stay with us. you got a heck of a second half to look forward to here. We will be back on the Varsity Media Sports Network.
now is the time to sign up with Varsity Media for this year's lacrosse season. We offer competitive filming rates for full season coverage of your team. Varsity Media also offers action photography during the lacrosse season as well. To learn more about our services, visit varsitymedia.net or give us a call today. Welcome back, everybody, to McQuaid High School. You're watching Section 5 Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Joel Balthazer here with Ray Sullivan and Alex Pouliot. We want to thank you for taking some time out to watch tonight's game, and we want to look ahead to uh, our remaining schedule for this year. And we actually have a, uh, a change on this schedule. The Spencerport Brighton Girls game will actually be now held tomorrow night after some, uh, some bitter cold weather on Saturday postponed that one. So that's one of the better matchups in Section 5 girls across Spencerport and Brighton tomorrow, 7.30 at Brighton High School. Following that, on Thursday, we'll be at Hilton High School for a big boys showdown between Hilton and Fairport. That game starts at 6.30. And then our last two streams for this regular season of this, of this year will be St. Joe's right here at McQuaid right on Saturday. And then next Tuesday, we'll have Pittsburgh Brighton. So that ought to be a good one. We have so many good games left. And even a treat for everybody on Sunday, we were going to be broadcasting our first ever rugby game. So we hope everybody um, can take a follow on the Varsity Media YouTube channel to get notified of all our upcoming games and videos that we post. And look forward to uh, seeing you the rest of the season on our live stream broadcast. So we are going to take a little break. And we are going to come back with some first half, first half analysis and highlights from this 3-2 game between Penyan and McQuaid. Welcome back to everybody to our coverage of Section 5 Lacrosse here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. We've got a great game going on tonight. We're at halftime as McQuaid is hosting Penn Yan, and McQuaid has a slim 3-2 lead. And right now we want to show you the goal of the first half and one of the great highlights of the season so far. And this is this comes from McQuaid's Alex Klamowski. And watch this goal. It's... 
He scooped that in without looking with a man draped all over him in just a fantastic effort. One more look. He breaks down the left-hand side, spins back, and is just covered by a defender. We're going to get it for you. We're going to try to. Cue this one up and one more time. And he just made an unbelievable individual effort, first of all, to hang on to the ball, and second of all, to somehow... No look, scoop that ball into the net, Joel. Yeah, that was definitely a scoop shot. It's still hard to see, even from these replays, watching it again, because he had a defender draped all over him. But uh, that was a pretty goal. That was definitely one of the better ones we've seen so far this year in uh, Section 5. That gave McQuaid their first lead of the night. Took him a long time to get there. Uh, that made it 2-1. to one, And right now we have a 3-2 to two game with McQuaid in the lead. And the way things have set up here, Joel, defense is going to decide this game, I think, in the second half. Yeah, defense has been the uh, the biggest factor so far for both teams. That's why it's only a 3-2 game, just a great defensive performance so far by both the Knights and the Mustangs. So we'll see which team possibly bend, you know, will bend but not break and which team will allow that uh, extra opportunity for the other team to score. Both teams come into this game at 8-2. And both teams, with their sights set, I'm sure, on another championship, Yeah, I, I would say, Joel. Certainly, the Mustangs at Penn Yan, they are looking for their 24th sectional championship in school history. Yeah, we talked about that in the intro. Uh, eight straight Section 5 championships, 20 in the last 21 years, so... Every year they're the heavy favorite in class. Now in Class D, you expect nothing less this year. And McQuaid made it all the way to the semis this year, and you know have one of the better records in Section Five. So you expect them to be right there at the end too. As we get ready to start the second half, it'll be Connor Finger at the X for Pen Yan, and Jack Miller for McQuaid. Ref's getting the ball set, and we're getting ready to play lacrosse here. One more half to go. McQuaid versus Penn Yan. They're in the crowd really getting into this one, too. They're ready to go. A lot of blankets out there and a lot of cheering going on. Yeah. It is beginning to cool off, but it is just a beautiful night. We're going to we're gonna have a beautiful sunset here if the clouds don't block it. We finally got some nice weather, and it's got to be a perfect night, I would think, for these kids to be playing. Just, uh, just a great uh, atmosphere here at McQuaid right now. Penyan with the ball. They're going to get the first crack at it here. And a nice stop there. Ball on the ground. And now an opportunity to clear for McQuaid. A nice save there by Connor Winters, the sophomore for McQuaid. Trying to get it up the left-hand side. It looks like they'll do it. And now McQuaid will move on to offense. Good opportunity there for Penyan by Chase Blumbergs. But as you mentioned, a great save. Oh, there's a quick turnaround shot right there by Max Eddinghausen and it goes wide that was a no look shot too but boy he spun around quickly tried to get one off and I think tried to catch the goalie off off guard but wasn't able to put it on net yeah it was a quick shot I think that was Duran that got uh that got there just in time to alter that shot so a good opportunity we've seen that before from Max Eddinghausen now bringing it up the right hand side back out up top to Ryan McAvely Swings it over to his partner. There's a quick shot or a quick pass inside. Ball on the ground, and Penyan is going to take possession. Nice clearing pass there, and here come the Mustangs. Back on offense. They're going to slow it down, and they're going to go right to the net, right to the net. Another nice save by Connor Winters. Ball's going to roll out of bounds. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Pen Yan. They're going to keep the ball. It was right off his knee, too. Maybe a little bit above his knee. So that one couldn't have felt good, but it stayed out of the net. So He's got that wrap on that knee, That's, too. Yeah. Probably for a reason. Ball on the ground again. Getting some physical play in here now. McQuaid trying to keep possession. That ball on the ground one more time. And Pen Yan's going to come away. Great job by Blumbergs to come away with that. That was a, that was a fight for that loose ball. Boy, Blumbergs throws his body around. He's a big guy, and that made a difference right there. He fought past guys and was able to scoop that ball up. His big brother, the uh, the leader on this team last year, playing college lacrosse at St. Bonaventure this year. Mustangs setting up now on the right-hand side. That's Makai Mahan. 
Spinning, working back to the middle. Gets pushed around behind the net. Back out up top to Finger. He lets one go. And another save. Two saves by Connor Winters, the sophomore goalie for McQuaid. He's putting on a show right now. He certainly is. And I was just thinking, you know, we joked about bringing the weather to these live streams. I think we bring out the best in these goalies in these live streams. We've seen some great goalie performances so far in these featured games. Absolutely. And that was a great pass by Winter. The, uh, Winters there. His uh, coach said he's an excellent clearer of the ball, and he showed it right there. So McQuaid on the offense now, looking for a shot. Gets one off, but his counterpart, Jeff Kenyon, is there for the save. Kenyon with a great save, too. Back and forth, both sides. Great saves by the goalies. Boy, and look at Connor Finger just bull his way through and to clear that ball. Just a one-man clear right there. So the Mustangs will set up in their offensive zone with an opportunity to possibly tie the game up here. They're down 3-2 to two with 8.30 left to go in the third quarter. They're going to start from behind the net, swinging around to the left and bring it back out up top. Connor Finger over to the right-hand side. Blumbergs now setting up behind the goal. Brings it out, getting the right-hand shot set up. He tries to scoop one in down low. And once again, Connor Winters makes the save. He can't get anything by these goalies. Penyan retains possession. Up top, not a finger. He spins to his left, getting that left-handed shot cocked and ready to go, and he scores. Connor Finger lets one go with the left-handed shot and rips one past Connor Winters. And we've got a tie game at three. Nice lefty shot by Finger to tie this one up. Just a nice move, a quick step to get around his defender. Goes lefty and just sneaks one past for the goal. Once again, I think maybe he was able to clear just enough space for himself to get that left-handed shot off and maybe caught McQuaid a little bit off guard with that spin move to his left. Yeah, quick first step, though. He just got off. Got off on that move so quickly that he was already by his defender. Back to the X now. All tied up. 3-3 with 7.52 left to play here in the third quarter. McQuaid and Penyan battling in Brighton, New York tonight. Penyan goal. Score by number eight, Connor Finger. That's a battle in there right now for the ball. And McQuaid... Will come away with it. Nice job there by Gavin Carey to get that ball out. Now the ball's on the ground again, but the Knights are able to scoop it up and keep possession. And they will get their offensive players on the field now and get their offense set up and ready to go. Far side with the ball. Ooh, that was just a miscue. Yeah, that was deflected. Good good play on defense. Yeah, Nick Opet looked like he had an opportunity there, and it just ended up in the stick of Jeff Kenyon. And now the Mustangs will have an opportunity to clear here and get back into their offensive zone. They'll do that. Mayhan working the ball down the right-hand side and around behind the net. Back out up top. That's Chase Blumbergs with the ball. Back around to the right-hand side as he looks for an opportunity to make a move on his defender. That is big number 10, Eric Schertler, out there defending. Back up top to Mahan. Around to Connor Finger. Looking to get a, go get a shot off there, and he bounces one wide. Instead of feeling he was going to take that one, he, uh, he had some steam going. Seems like he might be feeling a little bit more now. Yeah, I think so. Akai Mayhan starts up top. Who's around to his right? Well, he's deceptive. He's a big kid, but he moves fast. It's quick, yeah. Mustangs now. Ball down low. Ooh, put one on the ground there, but Connor Finger is there to scoop it up and keep possession for the Mustangs. We're all tied up still here. 5.40 left to go in the third quarter. 
Nice battle going on up top there. <laughs> Connor Finger just taking those poke checks. Well, gamesmanship, maybe. Chase Blumberg's now. Ooh, fights that stick off with the right, uh, the left hand. There's a shot and another save by Connor Winters. But ball bounces, and Penyan is able to keep control and keep possession. I think they were fortunate there. Might have got away with a ward, but able to retain possession. Up top now to Mahan, and he scores. A rocket of a shot by Makai Mahan. And the Mustangs of Penyan take a 4-3 to three lead. Yeah, their first lead of the game. We'll take another look. It's a good feed, and then Mahan just launches that one. Not, not much of a chance for winners to stop that one. So Penyan with their first lead of the game. Wide open, and Mahan was really able to load up there and let that rip, and he didn't miss. So with 5.06 left to play, Penyan now back in the lead. 4-3. to three. Connor Finger for Penyan at the X again. He will be battling once again number 16, Jack Miller for McQuaid. Ref's getting ready to blow the whistle and get it started again. Here we go. Penyan, goals for number five, Makai Mahan. Ball still on the ground. McQuaid comes away with it. They break into their offensive zone, and they will set up. Under five minutes left to play in the third quarter here. McQuaid down by a goal with possession of the ball. Ryan McKevley up top now. They'll send it around back. Eddinghausen working it. Fakes the pass. Spins back around to his right. Just more great defense by the Mustangs there. Here's McKevley down low now. Boy, and they close it off quickly, Joel. They sure do. It looked like they had a lane there for a wide open shot, and all of a sudden the defense just closed. Klimowski had that great goal in the first half, looking for an opportunity. Spins it back around, gets it into the middle. Quick shot there and just wide. Eddinghausen had an opportunity. Great little pass by Klimowski to him, but he spins back around. Kind of a little bit of a blind shot there, and he shot it wide. Yeah, it was a great feed by Klimowski. I'm not sure how he got that one in there, but... Uh... Heading Housem in front of the goal, just a little bit wide. Nick Opit now getting pushed almost down to the turf. But he's able to hang on to the ball and get it back out to his teammates here. And the Knights will set out up the setup up top. McKevley looking for an opportunity, playing catch with Klamowski. Klamowski trying to use his quickness and speed there, but isn't able to get around his defender. Boy, almost a turnover, but McQuaid hangs on to it. There's a quick shot, and it goes off the pipe. Wow. Great fake, a great move, and uh, the shot just off the shoulder. Eddinghausen almost burying one there, but he caught the pipe, and McQuaid will keep the ball and have another opportunity here. Counting down to three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Penfield, uh, I'm sorry, Pen Yan up 4-3 to three over McQuaid. McQuaid with possession of the ball right now. Looking for an opportunity to possibly tie the game up here. There's a quick shot and a goal. Great shot by Nick Opit coming around from the left-hand side of the goal. He gets loose and is able to bury one and tie this one up at four. Good response there by McQuaid. Nice move by Opit and then just... Reaches back, puts a little something extra on this one. Not a whole lot of chance for the goalie on that one, and he's tied this thing up. 2.50 left to go, 4-4 here. We got a great game, Bruin. Heck of a game. This is entertaining. The lights are on. Everybody is on their feet down around the track. Got a lot of people in the stands. The energy is fantastic here tonight in McQuaid. As we get ready for another face-off with 2.50 left to go in the third quarter and a tie ball game, 4-4. It's really been a battle out there at the X between these two guys, too. Yep. And this time, Connor Finger's going to come away with it. Finger will attend University of Albany next year. Another D1 player. 
Another, Coming out of Section 5. Another Section 5 player just a few years ago went to Albany and uh, was the face-off guy. A guy we all know all too well. TD. That's right. TD Erlin out of Victor High School. He has since moved on to Yale. Went to the Ivy League. There's a quick shot by Finger, and that's go that goes wide. And great hustle by McQuaid, and they're going to get possession of the ball with an opportunity to clear here. Good hustle by Winters. He's, he won that one for his team. Helping himself. McQuaid is able to clear. And they will set up in their offensive zone now with an opportunity to get the lead back. Just got a chance to see the replay. That was close, but he did have his stick out a little bit farther. Just good hustle. These extra possessions are really going to come in handy in a game like this. Ryan McEvely coming into the game, into the offensive zone, uses the pick by his teammate up top, spins back. He gives it up to Klamowski. Back to McEvely. He wants to get, you just got a feeling he wants to get a shot off here. He is trying to force himself into a shooting position. He turned it over or put it on the ground there, but his teammates there to scoop it up. Yeah, the hero last year in the overtime for McQuaid. He's uh I think he's got a goal on the on the day, but hasn't had a whole lot of chances. No, they've keyed on him. There's a quick pass in the middle. Oh, and that shot bounces just wide. Was Chiarello. That was, was Chiarello just bouncing one wide. Nice opportunity there, but McQuaid is going to keep possession. Setting up behind the net now. Out front. Ball comes loose before he can get the shot off. That was Marangola. Up top now. There's a quick low shot and score. Boy, what a great shot. There's a shot by Ryan McEvely. You just mentioned it, Joel, and he answers with a rip down low and gives McQuaid the lead 5-4. to four. Just talking about him, how he's been a little bit quiet. We didn't think that was going to last too long, and there is the outside rip. That is just a laser down low, just well-placed. Nicely done by McEvely. He heard you, Joel, and he didn't like it. He did. That's correct. <laughs> so with 46 seconds left to go in the third quarter, McQuaid takes the lead back, 5-4. to four. This game has gone back and forth. Just a great, great game between these two tough teams here tonight. Really entertaining. Not the, the high-scoring thriller that some people like. This has just been a good old McQuaid, lacrosse game. Good old physical back-and-forth game. Ryan Refs are going to give Penyan possession Misses off the face there. Max face off there. And they will set up. As time winding down, we're down to 30 seconds left to go here in the first half or in the uh, third quarter. Penyan with an opportunity as Time winds down here. That's Mayhan. 15 left to go now. Ball behind the net. Nice defense again by McQuaid. There's Finger. Quick little pass and that one gets picked off. They got into a situation where they really had to force it a little bit there as the third quarter Comes to an end. So, after three quarters of play, it's McQuaid 5, Penyan 4. We'll be right back on the Varsity Media Sports Network.
Welcome back to High School Lacrosse here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. We have a great one between McQuaid and Penn Yen right now. McQuaid up 5-4 as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. And we want to thank our sponsor for tonight's game, Sweet Lax Lacrosse. The Sweet Lax Summer Showcase has become one of the best showcase events in the country and is attended by college coaches from all over the country, Division 1, 2, and 3. And this year... The Sweet Lax Summer Showcase will be held at Nazareth College right here in the Rochester area on June 21st. It's open to all 2020 to 2022 players. And for more information, visit ml8events.com. And Joel, we're off. We're going to have a heck of a finish here. I got a feeling. Can't wait to see how this one plays out. This has been a very entertaining game. McQuaid comes away with possession off the faceoff. And they will get set up in their offensive zone. Up 5-4 right now, the Knights. And with a chance to extend that lead, McEvely down the left-hand side. Swings back around. But defense shuts him off there, and they send it back out up top. Good defense there by Duran. We have to give a shout-out to his dad, Adam Earl, is one of our videographers, and his son, Brian Duran, as well as uh, Carter Earl. On this team, on this Penyon team? Got to be a proud dad. Absolutely. McQuaid working the ball behind the net right now. That's Eddinghausen. He gets stripped. Ball on the ground. And Penyon comes away with it. More nice defense from the Penyon Mustangs. Yeah, more of the same from this defense. And uh, let's – great clear. You're right with these – both these goalies are great on their outlet passes. Yeah, that was Jeff Kenyon with a nice, nice clearing pass and gives his uh, teammates an opportunity to set up in their offensive end now. Penyan down 5-4, fourth quarter here. Ten and a half minutes left to go in the game. Mustang setting up behind the net. That's Blum Blumberg's out front. There's a shot. And another save by Connor Winters. He has been a star tonight, and he has, I would say at this point, been the difference. I, it's hard to disagree with that. Just a, uh, just a sophomore, and you know this is his first year starting on varsity, and he has played really well. Coach had nothing but good things to say about his goalie. And you want to know what kind of athlete he is? Right there. Yeah. Great job bringing the ball up himself and another great pass to clear and get his team on offense. McEvely now behind the net, gets stripped. There's a battle for the ball, but McEvely's going to be able to keep possession there. Great defense by Makai Mahan, but McEvely is able to hang on to it, scoop that ball back up, and the Knights will get set up now. They bring it around up top. Klamowski. Calling for McEvely to move into the middle there. He's going to give it back to him. Push it down the right-hand side. And around behind the net. That's Chiarello. I'm sorry, that's Nick Opit behind the net. Here he comes. Looking for an opportunity. Spins back around to his left. And again around now to his right. No look there. Back out up top. Klamowski and McEvely playing catch. Back over to Klamowski. McQuaid being very patient on offense. They've got a 5-4 to four lead. They want to get good shots off. They get one right there. And I think that was going to go wide one way or the other. It came up a little bit short. He tried to bounce it, and it went, uh, went wide of the net. But McQuaid is going to keep the ball. Yeah, it's a good job getting free in front of the net. Just uh, ball went a little wide. Over on the right-hand side now into the middle. Never got the shot off. And more nice defense by the Penn Yan Mustangs. And they're going to come away with possession here with an opportunity to clear. A nice pass up the middle. And they will move back into their offensive zone. Counterfinger and Makai Mayhan playing catch. Mayhan playing catch. And they back it out now and slow things down a little bit. Up top to finger. Nope, sorry. Mayhan, now to finger. 
And as they swing it around the perimeter, down low. Aiden Mowry back up to Mayhan, over to Finger. They're showing patience here, Joel. Yeah, very methodical right now. Just moving the ball around, waiting for their opportunity. Down by a goal. Penyan, plenty of time left to go in this game. Seven, seven and a half minutes left to go. There's a shot and a save. Once again, these goalies are doing a fantastic job. Connor Winters goes up high for that one, pulls it down, and gets possession for his team. Going to be some high save numbers on both sides of the ball for these goalies. Winners. Oh, there's a little errant pass, and that's going to be a turnover. And Penyan is going to get the ball back, see if they can clear and get into their offensive zone. And they do. Mahan directing traffic there. Now around behind the net. Swinging around up top again. Comes out to Connor Finger. Into the middle to Mayhan. There's a shot and a save Another again. Another great save. Boy, wow. just a great save by Connor Winters. They have not figured out how to solve him. And here come the Knights. On the break here, an opportunity. Oh, and an errant pass, and that's going to bounce out of bounds. Tough turnover for McQuaid. Looked like they had a really good opportunity there. Tough break. Yeah, that ball just a uh, little off target on the pass, and it's going to go right back over to Penyan after a couple great saves by Winters. So, Penyan getting set up, looking to tie this one back up. We've gone back and forth. Lead changes, tie games. It has not been uh, more than a two-goal lead this yeah. entire game. Yeah, biggest lead of the day, two goals. And uh, I don't think it lasted very long either. Penyan coming around behind the net. There's a quick shot. That one did not find the net and went wide. And Penyan hustles back. Keeps possession. And from behind the net now, Ettenhousing. Back out to Connor Finger up top. He's pushing his way in down the right alley, but gets turned away. Just Ettenhousing. Haven't, haven't seen any lapses on defense by either team all night. Just a great performance by both teams. Quick little pass there. There's Jared Campbell in the game. Getting some fresh legs in there. The Mustangs. Well, that was a pass that you probably didn't want to make right there. And that's going to be a turnover. Over and back. Yeah, that was a tough play. And uh, now McQuaid's going to have a chance to get the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of slowed this thing down and moved the ball around a little bit. They haven't had the ball a whole lot lately in this quarter. No, they haven't. But they still have a 5-4 to four lead. And possession of the ball now. That's Ryan McKevley up top. He swings it out to Alex Klamowski. As the, as the Knights set up their offense. Behind the net now. John Marangola turning on the Jets a little bit there, but he gets turned away again. Swings it up to Klamowski. Klamowski directing traffic now. Calling for his teammates to come out. That's McKevley. Boy, that is a battle. <laughs> That's a fun one out there. Jack Peterson and Ryan McKevley, and they are going at each other. And we do have a flag down. I just noticed that. That may be on here. Peterson. Yeah. Oh, nice job there by Eddinghausen. Oh, on the ground again. He comes up off of his knee. Able to keep possession of the ball. And you're right, we're going to have a penalty on Pen Yen, but McQuaid still looking for an opportunity here. Hard to believe we only have three and a half minutes to go in this game. Klamowski being double teamed. He splits it. Pass out front and a goal. What a great job by Alex Klamowski. Oh, no goal. Not going to cut. No goal there. Boy, that was almost a beauty. That was nice. Yeah, they're going to say he was in the crease. Um, so that will start the penalty, but. Good break there for Pena. Yeah, a great finish. He's got uh, two, uh, although that one didn't count, obviously, two uh, great finishes, but putting on the highlight show, but they will still be in the man-up situation. Yeah, Pena looked like they had had enough of uh, 
McQuaid running around with the ball. They double teamed the ball, and Klamowski just split the two defenders and came out and made a fantastic pass. But as we said, man in the crease, so no goal. So McQuaid still up 5 4 with 343 left to play, and now with a man advantage. And this could be a critical point in this game, Joel. Yeah, this is huge right now with uh, with just you know not a whole lot of time left on the clock. Got to take advantage of every opportunity you can. And uh, if you're Penn Yan, you got to hold them here. Yeah, a two-goal lead at this point in this game seems like it would be a lot. There is 3.43 left to play here as the referees are talking to both benches, making sure everybody knows what's going on. Seems like we've got a question here. Not sure what's happening, but the referees checking in at the scorer's man. table. Too many men. A 30-second penalty. Too many men penalty on Penn Yan. That's a 30-second penalty. And here we go. McQuaid with man up for 30 seconds. McEvling swinging it around to the left. Down low now, back behind the net. Working the perimeter. The Knights up 5-4. Could really make it difficult on Penn Yan if they can come up with a goal here and go up two. There's a quick pass in the middle. Shot never got through. Nice defense there, and Penn Yan is going to come away with the ball. Great clearing pass once again by Jeff Kenyon, the goalie. And the Mustangs will be able to clear this penalty off, but a quick turnover there. And here comes McQuaid again into their offensive zone. Penalty is over now. We're back to even strength, but McQuaid gets the ball back on a big turnover by Penn Yan. Yeah, possession's huge right now. They did have a great opportunity on offense. Just the uh, ball came out of the stick. But right now with uh, a little over two and a half, they're just going to look to milk this thing down. Working the ball down low. That's Paul Chiarello. He gives it up. Now we work it behind the net. Marangola. He's going to be double teamed. Penn Yen is going to have to take some chances here. We'll see what the McQuaid offense can do with that. Nick Opit now, playing a little keep away. Milking that clock, 2.15 left to go. Opit, swinging around up top. Puts his hand down to keep his balance and does a nice job of doing that. Chiarello. Penyan trying to pressure the ball, but McQuay doing a great job of playing keep away here. That's Ryan McEvely now. And we've got a whistle. And we got a timeout or? Not sure yet. See what's happening here. We've got a minute 52 left to play. McQuaid with a 5 4 lead. 152 left to play in the game. Well, we do have an offside penalty on Penn Yan, so all of a sudden McQuaid's going to be man up again. And it looks like we're going to get a timeout. So we're going to take an opportunity to take a timeout as well. We will be right back with the finish of a great game here on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Welcome back to Brighton, New York, here on the Varsity Media Sports Network, where we've got a great finish lined up for you here between McQuaid and Penyan with Section 5 lacrosse coverage on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Penalty and Joel, the timeout, McQuaid leads it 5-4. They're going to be a man up here, and they are in the driver's seat right now. Yeah, they'll have 30, second, uh, 30 seconds here to, uh, to be in the man up. Um, might be surprised actually if they take a shot here um, unless it's a really good opportunity but yeah with a minute 52 they can milk 30 seconds off of this and the man up opportunity yeah I, I tend to agree with you that maybe the shot is not the most important thing here for McQuaid the biggest uh, 
biggest advantage they have right now is the clock. Yeah. So here we go. Referee blowing his whistle, getting ready to start this final minute in 42, 50 seconds or so. And McQuaid will hang on to the ball. Clock is rolling. They swing it around behind the net. Penyan seems content to not pressure right now. Not quite. I don't quite understand that, but here they come now. Like they want to just clear this penalty first if McQuaid's not going to pressure. And McQuaid did decide not to worry about trying to get a shot off there in the man up advantage. Oh, ball on the ground behind the net now. And there's a cross check, and that ball's going to go to Penyan. So with a minute left to go, minute 11 seconds left to go, Joel, Penyan is going to get an opportunity to tie this game up. Yeah, that's a big turnover right there for McQuaid on just kind of an easy pass, too, and uh, un unforced error. Penyan's going to have another shot at this. And here come the Mustangs getting the ball down into their offensive zone. And now they will call a timeout. Timeout. And Coach oh, Brian Hobart. We'll get things set up on his offensive end and come up, see what he can come up with to get one more chance to tie this game up. And we'll take a break right now on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Welcome back to Varsity Media Sports Network's coverage of Section 5 Lacrosse. And stay tuned immediately following the conclusion of the game to see who will be named today's Sweet Lax Player of the Game. And we've got plenty of possibilities there, Joel. We're, we're not sure who's going to come away the winner of that Sweet Lax Player of the Game. But we know we're going to have a fantastic finish here. McQuaid up 5-4 with 56 seconds left to play. Penyan with the ball and an opportunity to tie this game up possibly. Got to say, these last few games, we've had some tough choices on this Sweet Lax player of the game, and uh, tonight's no different. No different at all. Here come the Mustangs. They swing it around to the right-hand side. That's Makai Mahan. Back up top. Chase Blumbergs is the man up top right now for the Mustangs. Mahan down low. Mowry swinging around from behind the net. Boy, he's got some speed, but great defense by McQuaid to push him aside. We're down below 30 seconds now. This is Blumbergs looking for an opportunity. He doesn't find it. I think you got to get it to finger here. Absolutely, and there's another timeout. I think that's exactly what Coach Hobart, Brian Hobart of Penyan is probably thinking. Didn't like what he saw. They're playing tough defense on Connor Finger, and he did not come loose at all right there, Joel. And so he... Uh, Coach Hobart decided to take a timeout and reset. Yeah, I was surprised and, uh, when he didn't didn't have the ball in his hands. And, uh, you know, I think that was a wise decision by Coach Hobart to uh, settle him down, go over this one more time, and get the, uh, get the ball in the hands of your best player. 17 seconds left to go. It has been a defensive battle all night here at McQuaid Jesuit High School. And my guess is the final 17 seconds will be no different. I think McQuaid is going to do everything they can do, just like they did for the last 45 seconds, to keep the ball away from Connor Finger. Yeah, I, I think that would be a good strategy at this point. He, you know, leading scorer and uh, quite the playmaker, and you know, you want to try to eliminate the opportunity for him and make someone else beat you. Well, and that's somebody else's. You know, they've, they've had a couple of opportunities, but Makai Mahan seems to be finding room out there right now. We'll see if maybe that's how it ends up here. If he's the one who gets the last. Last shot of this game. Yeah, he's had some good opportunities and uh, scored a few today. I think uh, one or two, and uh, that might be the man they uh, have to go to. So, referee about to blow his whistle. 17 seconds left to go here. Penyan with the ball and down by a goal. Here come the Mustangs. We'll see if they can get an opportunity here. It's Connor Finger from behind the net, working around behind. Back to his left. He is going to move the ball behind the net. And who's this that going to? That was not to? quite a shot. Penyan is going to retain possession with six seconds left to go. That was really not much of a shot by Finger. And here come the Mustangs one more time. Three, 
two, one, ball on the ground. There's a wow. quick shot. Winners makes the save, and McQuaid is going to hang on to win this one, five to four. What a finish. Connor Winners, just like he has all night, is there to stop that final shot with about a second left to go in the game and preserve this win for the McQuaid Knights. Wow. The exact same score as we had last year, except no overtime, and what a what a frantic finish right there and a couple big saves, great plays on defense to preserve the win for McQuaid. It looked like Penyan had run out of opportunities, but somehow they were able to get one last quick shot off down low. But once again, Winters was there, and he was the difference maker tonight, Joel. Yeah, they had some good looks there, um, but just, you know, you got to tip your cap to the McQuaid defense and uh, – you know, they kept they kept the ball out of the net and got this big 5-4 win. So we're going to take a break for just a minute here. We will be back in just a minute and announce our Sweet Lax player of the game. You're watching Section 5 Lacrosse on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Welcome back, everybody, to Varsity Media Sports Network's coverage of Section 5 Lacrosse. And we had an absolute beauty here tonight, a battle between McQuaid and Penyan. McQuaid comes out on top 5-4, and right now it's time for our Sweet Lax player of the game. And, Joel, not a tough decision here right now, especially with that last-second save. We're going with Connor Winters, the sophomore goalie from McQuaid. Yeah, the, the end of the game solidified it, but I, I, I think you're right. I don't think there was a whole lot of question of – who the MVP for McQuaid was today. Um, just such a big game. Big save after big save to hold a team like Penyan to just four goals and come away with this big win. You know, Connor Winter is certainly deserving of today's Sweet Lax player of the game. Fantastic job by Connor. Now, uh, Penyan, you mentioned it. They do put the ball in the net. They were missing one of their big guys tonight, Colton Smith. Yep. He was out with an injury, but... They still had plenty of guys in double figures, including Connor Finger, who's got 23 goals on the season. So just a fantastic job by Connor Winters and a fantastic job by the defense of McQuaid to hold this Mustangs team to only four goals. Yeah, you're right. I think you have to – a lot of, you know, big shout-out to the defense as well as the goalie tonight for McQuaid. They played all around really good game. Really both teams played great defense, and both goalies shined. Um, it's just a matter of the McQuaid came away the winner, and you know, winner. It's just such a big game. Yeah. So your final tonight from McQuaid Jesuit High School. It's the McQuaid Knights five, the Penyan Mustangs four. We're going to hear more from both of these teams. I've got a feeling, Joel, as we go yeah, on for sure. But we want to thank you for joining us on the Varsity Media Sports Network. Have a great evening, everybody.